your spouse in a different light, mm -hmm. uh, different thinking. At the end of the day, try. Uh, I'm, I'm talking to you, you men because women, we are women. We are always at home. We are always working. We are always cooking. We are always washing. Um, some families, they're you know blessed having um, maybe their in laws mm -hmm. or they pay for the house girl. But for those who do not, uh, you know, cannot afford to even have an house girl and then having that numbers of children, you will never know the the pressure and the stress it takes uh, just to live through the day. And imagine this day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. And sometimes, you know, after a few years of marriage, uh, most women, they just stand up and say, no, I, you know, I've had enough of that. Or when they see their children grown uh, out into the age that they can look after themselves, they just stand up and go. And because we lack the communication, we lack to talk, we lack to uh, appreciate one another, we lack to understand what each other is going through. Because not, no, not one marriage is perfect, including ours. No marriage is perfect. Mm -hmm. The only perfect marriage is when both of you try to make it work, when both of you uh, try and appreciate each other, when both of you try to understand each other. If you cannot, you know, if you are, are being married, like when I'm marrying Gasile, he's, he's very quiet. He doesn't talk much and he doesn't... Um, he doesn't talk uh, as much. I'm, I'm a talkative person. I'm a chatter. And uh, and most of the time, if we're going, I'm, I'm asking him, I talk about something. And he said, no, you talk. Oh, you start. And he said, I just find it, find it weird if we're driving or we're in the car and then deep silence. That's just like quiet because we are, uh, you know, all taken up with our own thoughts. And uh, I'll tell him, we, talk, we, we need to talk. We need to talk about something. Then he said, I'm driving. You talk. So... When I met him from the quiet person he was, I, I get him to, to talk. I will look for interesting uh, topic and, you know, uh, put it on the table to try and get his feedback. I will, I will not stop until I hear him start talking. And that became our strength. Mm -hmm. uh, became our strength. Uh, years, early years of our marriage, we always talk. And sometimes we look at each other, we remind each other, oh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. We are going tomorrow. to work. <laughs> and then we, you know, we go to sleep. And uh, we've, uh, yeah, we never run out of things to talk about. And I believe uh, one of the basic things that sort of like stabilized our yes. marriage was our communication because uh, we talk, we talk and we talk. And uh, also we allow us, ourselves to be open. If I don't like anything and I say, uh, you know, and I mention it to him, uh, he accepts that. And if he doesn't like anything and he comes and says, I don't really like that, you know, I don't really like the way you talk to me. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like this. I like my food better this way. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, when he says those kind of words, I, you know, I take that and I learn from it moving forward. So you cannot just communicate. You need to com you know, communicate, uh, talk, talk about the common stories. And then you communicate the differences that you have. So if you, you can yeah. Up, so yeah. you can build up and, mm -hmm. and try and, uh, and fix it because sometimes I mean how would he know uh, what I don't like if I don't tell him or how would your spouse know uh, so we can so you just don't accept the fact for your wife to say anything either. In oh you know it's like your your voice is never heard. Or you don't allow your wife to even voice, uh, you know, their their hurt or their differences or their likes or their dislikes. It's like uh, you know, my way or no way uh, from the uh, from the husband's side. And then there's a lot of uh, contributing conditions uh, that you know will not make marriage work. Like you are you are staying as a marriage of convenience. So. Uh, not even the Zoom room and uh, choose the right moment. And if you really uh, know that, you know, like um, either one of you is like a volcano is going to erupt anytime uh, if you have to relay some things that they may not like, then you pray and fast about it. Mm -hmm. Or you know, sometimes and you know, and beyond your thinking. Um, and that's, I mean, that's where God 